Revelation 3569, from the 6th of October 1945. Battle of Faith The Coming of the Lord Anyone professing the Church of Christ will be treated by the world with hostility and his fate on earth will be difficult, albeit only for a short time, for as soon as the adversity seems beyond endurance. God will rescue his own and all adversity will end. And God always points out the end to the believers, so that they will bear up against the external onslaught, so that they will faithfully persevere until God delivers them. He will inform them long in advance how Satan will rage and he will promise his own his protection, so that they recognize the truth of his word and remain firm in their resistance. If the believers therefore recognize the truth of the divine word by the progression of world events, by the progression of the battle of faith and the earthly ruling power's brutal disposition, they will defend his word even more eagerly, because it will deepen their faith to such an extent that human measures will no longer be able to shake it. And they will receive strength from God, according to their will and their faith, and thus endure difficult time for God will not let those down who want to remain faithful to him unless he still recalls someone into his realm before the end of this earth, if his physical end has come in accordance with divine purpose. However, he needs staunch representatives of the Church of Christ during the last days, so that the separation of the spirits can take place. He requires people who proclaim his word and preach Christ's doctrine of love to the unbelievers, and this without fear and inhibition, so that the unbelievers shall recognize the strength of faith and be shaken up from their spiritual lethargy once more, so that they will still be able to change their mind in the last hour and take the path to Christ, who alone can bring them salvation who alone can redeem them by strengthening their will to liberate themselves from evil and to strive towards God. The fact that the strength of faith is visibly pointed out to the unbelievers are the final means of grace, even so, very little use is made of them because humanity is entangled in Satan's web of lies, because it pays excessive homage to the world and sees its goal of life in exuberant pleasure and therefore the end will soon happen to you. And you can recognize this by the fact that faith is being fought against in a way which can truly be called satanic. Then the followers of Christ should unite and together wait for the Lord's help and his coming, for every day and every hour could be the last one, because earthly adversity will become so severe that it will necessitate God's immediate appearance so that the promises will come true which God gave to people through his word. That he will deliver his own from utmost adversity. Amen.